You yeah. said you had some buckets full. Uh, George probably had more than I did. He's got a huge collection. Oh yeah. This is some of them here. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Not much left. Oh, you cut a bunch of them last time, didn't you? Hmm? You, you had cut a bunch of them to see? Yeah. <coughs> I cut the, uh, those are still now the wood and metal one I cut in half. And yeah, the wood one. Is that one in there? No, it's sold. Did you? Actually, somebody, where does he live now? Down in Santa Barbara. He might be willing to. That you're looking over, I'm sure. Did you sell your famous knife one? Yeah. You did? It. Yeah, I cut it up too. I saw that. It sold to the same guy who's collected a lot of them. Then a lot went to Scotland. Scotland? To a fellow who wants to reproduce what I was doing. Who says he has the resources to do it. So... Uh, oh, yeah. This thing. Oh, I recognize that one. Yeah. Right? These are ones that cut up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> He's cool hmm. This was cool. That's one I took. I carried them to Japan. This one, I did I cut this? Yeah, I did. Disintegrated stainless. What's the, what's the biggest piece you had in there at one time that... It was, um, three inches by roughly a foot long. Hathaway had it, and actually Ian talked to him about giving some back to me years ago. But, um, over time, I gave them away as gifts, and as then I got the idea to put them on eBay because I wasn't going to do it. Let somebody else examine them. Find any strange mysteries in them, which they have done. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. You can see you can see the split, you know, in that one, like. I remember you, I, you made a video of this one not too long ago, a split oh, on that yeah, one. Oh, yeah, that was a big one. I hacksawed that up in bits and pieces. That was a big piece of extrusion. This did, was the extrusion better than others? Is that why mm -hmm. you did a lot of extrusion? Did oh, extrusion you, seem to have its most... Well, I guess it doesn't... on hand at the time. Yeah. Normally had a lot of stock on hand. I was doing a lot of machine work. I was always doing other things too. Okay. Um, Looking at metal samples. Ah. Yeah, I saw a lot of them went to, uh, to a Scottish fellow and a fellow down in California, Southern California. Hmm. He took a lot of video of him himself. <laughs> Did he? World Trade Center junk. Oh rid of yeah, it. how would you? How did you? What, what's up with that? I seen you made some on there. The World uh, Trade Center. Did somebody sell that stuff? That you can buy it from? I bought some off of eBay, and okay. a friend of mine gave me a pot of it in Vancouver. It was in a crate I had to open up. Because they always associate the World Trade Center with. What I was doing. <laughs> you can see them in that one real good. You can see that. Oh, yeah. The little spots. Yeah, that's part of a stainless steel bar. I got the rest of that hidden away. 
because it's quite unusual. Yeah, that is an unusual. It's partly magnetic too. That's the, okay. That's the one. What kind of unusual magnetic properties did it have? Well, being a non-magnetic stainless, it turned partially magnetic. Okay. Yeah, this is cool stuff. George, do you mind if you return all this happened? No, never. <laughs> They'll get lost forever. He, he wouldn't do it. He said in a recent email. <laughs> <laughs> he got some more from on eBay. Yeah. That's my insanity. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, look through that. I'm just going to go watch her. Okay. Stuff's falling on me. Hmm. 